Hi, this is Mrs. Cowgill. Uh, this presentation you're about to look at is called I Hate Online Learning because who loves online learning? I mean, I guess there are some kids that love it, but I think the kids who hate it are more than the kids who love it. So, you know, why are we doing online learning? Why are we here? Because of the corona. That's why. So um, how long is this going to continue until it's safe to go back? For more uh, information from the district, you can press on the here button. So we're here for a while. I'm going to give you some helpful hints and tips just for you to get through the rest of the school year. How do you get through second semester? So the first tip is, I know this may sound really obvious, but go to class. If you don't go to class, you're not going to know what the heck's going on. So go to class because you're not going to make it to June unless you actually go to class. So go to class. And while you're in class, turn your camera on. I know you don't want to. No one wants to have their camera on, but turn your camera on. And then you want to make sure your face is in the window of the camera screen. You know what I'm saying? So the teacher doesn't want to see your ceiling or your ceiling fan or even your forehead. The teacher wants to see you. And there's another method for my madness. If you are on camera, you are less tempted to do things like sleep or look on your phone, or play with your dog. So turn your camera on. And then once you're in class and once your camera's on, don't open any additional tabs. Stay on Zoom. And the reason why is teachers know, they know when you're going on to, you know, opening up another tab, looking at YouTube, they know. I don't know how they know, but they know. They have super teacher powers. So don't open any additional tabs. Another reason is because it slows your Zoom down. And then when you have to talk to your teacher, you end up sounding like a weird guitar. So close all your tabs. Just have Zoom open. Don't open any other tabs. You got to pay attention when you're in class. And you know it. <laughs> Get off your phone. If you need to give your phone to your parent, to a sibling, to hold for you, power down get rid of the phone. I know many of you think my phone is so much more interesting than this class. It may be, but your phone doesn't give you a grade. Your teacher does. So get off your phone. Get off that TikTok. <laughs> the next thing is you really have to find a space that you can claim as your own. It could be your bedroom. It could be your living room sofa. Well, you know, some of you have to share a bedroom. So maybe um, your sibling has the bedroom and you're kicked out to the living room sofa. Maybe you don't have a bedroom. Maybe your bedroom is in the living room. So you got to figure out where are you going to be? It could be a dining room table. Maybe it's the floor in the hallway. I don't know. But wherever it is, claim that space as your own and make sure you use that same space day after day, the same space. Then you got to get organized. You got to have everything that you need prior to the start of class. The most important thing, charge your computer or at least have a charger and plug it in. Make sure it works. Um, before you go to sleep, you may want to just see, is my computer plugged in? Is it charging? Uh, but then you want other things, pencils, pens, papers. Um, everyone has a different organizational style, so it's really up to you to figure out your own style. That's really the reason why um, uh, we have middle school. So you can start figuring these academic things out. And then just some tips about work. Yeah, do your work during class time. Because if you don't finish your work during class time, you get stuck with homework and that's not fun. And then turn your work in on time because then like, then you have to worry like, oh, what is this teacher's late work policy? And every teacher has a different late work policy. And then you just don't want to mess with the late work policy. Turn your work in on time. And then when you submit your work, turn in something with like stuff on it. Don't submit a blank page. I know a lot of you like think you can trick your parents. Oh, look, I'm hitting the submit button. And then you're just submitting a blank page. Well, you might be able to trick your parents, but you're not going to trick your teacher and it's going to reflect in your grade. Other helpful hints. Read the directions. Just like pre-COVID, read the directions. If you read the directions, it'll probably really help you when you attempt to complete an assignment. 
Um, if you're not really sure what's going on, just go onto Google Classroom. I mean, the, the answer will probably be somewhere in Google Classroom. Again, all teachers' Google Classrooms are a little bit different, but look through assignments, stream, look through that homepage for the Google Classroom. Also, teachers should generally have a daily agenda. And you can see what's happening every day in class by checking out the daily agenda. Finally, if you have no idea what in the world is going on, you got to ask questions or go to office hours. So there's a lot of different ways to ask a question. You can ask in the chat. You can raise your blue hand. Or you could briefly unmute yourself. Or if you have something longer, you can actually wait until the very end of class. Everyone's logging off. Everyone's logging off. You're the last one there. And then you ask your teacher a question. However, there are um, some classes where the teacher has the chat disabled and you can't unmute yourself. So in that situation, you have to go to office hours. You can either email the teacher or show up for their office hours. You can click the here button to find out when your teacher's office hours are. Or another thing is you can call a study buddy to figure out like what the heck's going on. So online learning. I mean, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but it's what we've got to it's what we got right now. So you got to make the best of it. Um, I don't know how much longer the situation is going to go on. I mean, of course, everyone's hoping for school to reopen at least by, um, by the time you're a ninth grader at Santa Monica High School. Uh, I hope so. So just hang in there. Good luck. If you need anything, I'm just an email away. My email is lcowgill at smmk12.org. Hang in there, guys.